the sun, it's central to life on Earth. MATC is front and center in a new American revolution by utilizing sustainable energy on its campuses and in our community. Last March, MATC hosted the 8th Annual Green Energy Summit at Milwaukee's Frontier Airlines Center. Known among his colleagues is the godfather of green, natural science instructor George Stone co-chaired the event. I think that uh, I, I became aware of the need for emphasis on changing toward green energy sources about uh, 11 years ago. We have, under the leadership primarily of uh, Dr. Joseph Jacobson, developed major new programs, certificate programs and underdevelopment uh, degree programs in a variety of areas relating to energy conservation, energy efficiency, and renewable energy. The 8th Annual Green Energy Summit in 2011, we had over 3,000 attendees, actually over 3,100. So this, our vision is coming true. We have annually now a thousand or more students from MATC that attend some part of this great three-day conference. MATC is the host of this great conference because the roots of this conference were in the technical college system. MATC is the largest of the technical college. It played a leading role right from the beginning. Uh, my vision was to make this a major national conference the only place really that we could do that is in Milwaukee. So it was just logical for MATC to uh, continue to be the host. So MATC is involved in many areas in trying to in educate and encourage a development in these areas. We've installed, as you know, a lot of uh, renewable energy facilities, um, such as the wind turbine at the Mequon campus, the photovoltaic systems at Mequon and at Oak Creek, and more recently, the largest photovoltaic farm in the state, if not one of the largest in the Midwest, and that's the uh, 550 kilowatt uh, uh, photovoltaic farm. We call it our uh, educational photovoltaic laboratory. And what it is is it's a laboratory designed to educate people and students about photovoltaics, which is a way to take sunlight and transfer that directly into electrical energy. What we've taken is unusable land, which is a tower fall and landfill area, and converted it into a facility that actually provides power to the community. My job at the Photovoltaic Educational Laboratory is to make sure that we collect the data properly and record it. So what we do is collect the electrical, we collect the electrical power, put it onto the grid, and then the transmitter here at MPTV uses that same electrical power to power the transmitter. I hasten to say that not only the administration of MATC has supported this, but we've had major support from the student body. And of course, that's our primary target. Those are the people that we're trying to involve and educate. We should be leaders in preparing the future workforce for the transition away from almost total dependence on fossil fuels toward much greater emphasis on energy efficiency, energy conservation, and renewable energy, alternative energy sources.